on there. I was too busy on the phone. Don't know what train this is. Hopefully I'll be able to find out. Once I get back in, the radio was on, but I was gabbing on the phone. It probably said I heard some talking, but wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I got the GoPro here right in front there, but it's not on. Nor is it aimed that way. Have been normally I'm gonna try since it's warming up a little bit it's like almost 50 degrees outside I was gonna try and get some uh, track sides again right upside so looks like it might be like the 396 no I think I was leaving town though hopefully I'll hear on the radio they should say so not that long. Move out a little bit so I get away from the glare. Oh, and I add glare. This is not where I would normally be standing. All right, little wobble for a second. I'm gonna put my hat a little tighter. Afraid it was gonna blow off and go on under the train. Then I gotta run under there and get it. No, I wouldn't. Start paying attention to the computer and the scanner. Was not going to be coming tonight, but I heard we got a special train coming. Not from Michigan, but going to Michigan. So we should have the BC Rail Heritage led with a UP trailing. I'm gonna back up a little here, get a little bit more of our light area. Really, really windy though. 
wind was supposed to calm down a lot, but it hasn't much yet. Wind's still gusting about 50 to 60. Still down from the 80 it was earlier. That's why my the track side there, the GoPro, the legs are spread right apart. Because that way the tripod doesn't blow over. Because it would. Back right up now, kind of get it straight off. Because I'm not so close. As long as they don't go to the side, then I'll get the glare from the light. Normally, I'd be down a little further behind the handicap shack, and then. Uh, uh, these lights that are up here are blocked by the shack, so... Huh. Yeah. Looks fairly new. Yeah, 2022, but six months old. Seven months. Alright, here comes our end. A tanker at the end. We got a wet car at the tail. Alrighty, subscribe. BC Rail Heritage, CN Heritage for BC Rail, and a UP Trailing. Nice. Two, two treats, we got a Foreign Power and a Heritage, which I'll take either, but I only came for this train. I wasn't gonna come today, but <coughs> a friend of mine messaged me and said that this train was coming. So, here I am. But it's just weird that it's on this track, which is really different for the 397. It's not usually a track two train. It's always track one with the red, green, red light. We had a yellow, green, red track two, which is usually not this one. This is a daily train. It's quite often though, a couple hours ago usually, but this could be an X maybe, I don't know. I do know it's the 397, which if it's a regular train, it's the M397. GoPro sitting right out there. I, I was originally expecting this to be a track one train, so I was gonna get a, a uh, okay, something's different there. Those are Government of Canada cars. Those are only on the 301. Huh. Well, that was different. Thank you. 
Yeah, those cars are usually only on the, well, the 731, which has a lot of them. And then the 301, which comes about now. And usually has a few of them, but they're usually tail of the train. You see them on the 397. Even the 301s usually attract one train, so it's, you know, it's still different. I believe this train is over 10,000 feet, which is a decent sized train. Okay, opposite the 491, which has truck frame. This will be either 384 or 492, just because of these cars right here. The empty truck frame. Got some more auto racks here coming up. This is a really good graffiti here. I'm, uh, I haven't had something really good in a few days. I think about five degrees, but it's uh, the wind. The wind has really calmed down compared to earlier, but it's still gusting probably about 40, 45, maybe 50. That is kilometers for 90. Five percent of my viewers are non-American, so I'll usually speak in uh, metric. It's just the states, pretty much left. That's that not. They're still on the old system, except for some things they have to use the new Olympics and stuff like that. Sports. They don't run a 100 yard dash in track and field, they run a 100 meter. Weightlifting is in kilos. So 
some sports are still the old. Like football, still yards. Most of the American sports are still old system, but Either way, I know them both. If they changed for me here in Canada, they switched to, to metric back in, oh, I'm gonna say about 1980 maybe? So over 40 years ago, about 1980. I oh, know, I was in grade school at the time. Sure, my other camera's still down there. Nobody scooped it. Yep. I pulled out the extra camera out because one of them's a GoPro and uh, sure it does really good 4K, but it doesn't handle cold. GoPros are horrible for the hot summer and cold winter. It will just shut right off. You're lucky to get one one train out of the battery. I got mine plugged into a uh, power pack. Well, actually, it's not plugged in right now, but I thought it was. It's kind of in a hurry getting the cameras on and ready. Again, this is the 492. I believe this is still in A492. Pretty long train. Heading into the yard. That's why he's over there and he's going the speed he is. Actually, I think he's pulling inside of Procore. That's what I heard on the radio. Hmm. I see a light down there. Either the train's done or there might be a DPU. No, I think that's the end of the train. Lights I see are after the train. This is a beast. Actually, that's not the end of it. I thought it was the end of it, but it was just these black cars I couldn't see way down there. Oh, my hand. 
ends are getting frozen. This is the wind. I didn't get my one glove on. I'm wearing gloves, but I only got one on. I'll the GoPro is frozen up with it plugged in, so I had to unplug it, pull the battery out, stick it back in, and reset it. That's another issue with it. When you plug it in to charge it, a lot of times it will freeze up once it's done, and then you've actually got to open the side, pull the battery out, put it back in, and then it's good to go. It's another fault. I have two GoPro 8s, both to do that. But, as for video quality, they are amazing. I would have no problem buying more, Go more GoPros, you just gotta know how to work them. I know the newer GoPros, I think the 11s, they've solved more of an issue of the cold and hot, more temperature. They're more temperature friendly. But I've got two eights, so the price of them, uh, these will do for now. Here comes the end. A 10 minute video, almost 11. All right, hit that subscribe. Got a nice wave there, he was hanging right out of there, waving. It's nice. This is a full auto rack train, so we don't get these every day anymore like we used to. Didn't see the via coming up behind me yet, but it will be here any minute. I seen him pulling into the yard down there, so he's coming through the other end of Sarnia. So, oh, oh. I had only ever seen via come while a train was going by once, and that was last night. So this would be two nights in a row, and the first times, twice. Not the first time twice, but here he comes down there, I see him. Your attention please, the entry number 87 from Toronto is now arriving on track number one. So this will not get the whole train. Move back a little because he's going to be coming right up here. There he is, right down there. This will be it for this video here in a minute. I'll get the train as it pulls up right beside, but this is the E, I think it's the E274, which will have the Via 87 from Toronto to Sarnia pulling right up here beside. Here he comes.
as soon as he comes to a stop. All right, well, hit that subscribe. All right, we're trying to get the rest of the train over here. Trying to keep an eye on my other cameras, so. sitting right here. Second night in a row that Vias came while a train was going by. Thank you. 